You will never reach your full kingdom potential until you first overcome your giant. Facing giants is intimidating. Look at me. Face it anyway. To defeat your giant, you're going to have to fight. It's going to be tough. Fight anyway. It might be ugly. Fight anyway. It might be difficult. Fight. Don't wait for the giant to leave. Fight now. Fight today. Now. If defeating your giant matters, start now. A giant is anything that stands in between you and the promises of God that feels impossible to overcome. A giant is anything that's in between you and the life that God has for you. And the more you look at it, the more impossible it feels like that thing is to overcome. Like no matter how hard you try, he's not going to fall to the ground. And a giant can be a whole host of things. Anxiety, depression, worry, stress, mental health issues, uh, rejection, insecurity, bitterness, doubt, fear, finances, comfort, sickness in our body, ungodly beliefs. I mean, you name it, there is no end to the limit of the giants that can exist in our lives. And I would bet there's some of these things standing in your life, standing in between you and what God has for you. And maybe you've even gotten to this place where it feels so impossible for it to overcome, you've just come to accept it. It's intimidating to face down your biggest enemy, that one problem that's held you forever. It's intimidating to think about losing 40 pounds. It's intimidating to imagine overcoming addictive habits. That giant stands between you and health. That giant stands between you and your purpose. That giant stands between you and your destiny. That giant stands between you and your God-given potential. Fight. I mean, John 10, 10, Jesus says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. The giants of life want to steal, kill, and destroy the life that God came to give you. They don't care how they do it. They want to steal. They want to kill. They want to destroy the abundant life or the promises of God that Jesus has made to you. And they do everything they can to try to take you down. But what I want you to understand right out of the gate is, you are an overcomer. You are a conqueror. You are more than victorious. You are a pioneer and you come from a long line of giant killers. You were made in the image and likeness of God, the ultimate giant killer. You come from the line of Moses, a giant killer, Joshua, a giant killer, David, a giant killer, Jesus, a giant killer, the disciples, giant killers, the people in this room with faith are giant killers. You come from a long line of giant killers. And yes, your giant may be big, but Jesus is bigger. I am not minimizing the giant in your life. It is big, but Jesus is bigger. Jesus is bigger. And this is why Luke 18 tells us that what is impossible for people is possible with God. It may feel impossible for you to take down your giant. And you know what? You're right. By yourself, it is impossible for your giant to fall. But in Jesus' name, it's time for you to face him and move forward in life. Get going. This might be your day. Today can be your day. God knows where you are. God knows the battle you're in. You're not alone in the fight. God is on your side. Say, but what if I pray and nothing happens? keep on praying. When you get up in the morning, look out the window and say, this might be my day. I'm ready. In a moment, in an instant, everything can change. Fight now. Fight today. Today can be your day. It's time. It's the time to take on your giant. No more procrastinating. Let's go. Time to fight. You're not on your own. God's on your side. You're not going to fight alone. It's not really a contest between the giant and me. It's a contest between the giant and the Lord. And though I wouldn't stand a chance against the giant, he doesn't stand a chance against the Lord. 
First of all, get your eyes off of those giants that you are facing. You know, we get so overwhelmed by our problems. And the more you look at the problem, the more it grows. Have you ever noticed that? The more you study your problems, the bigger they get. Until they get into gigantic proportions. Get your eyes off of the giants that you are facing and get your eyes on the Lord. It's so important that we get things in the proper perspective and you cannot have the proper perspective until you see the whole situation as it relates to God's power and God's ability. Get your eyes on the Lord. This is about learning to have more faith in Jesus than in your giant. And what I want to say to you is your future is on the other side of the giant that you are afraid to face. So don't let your giant hide your future. Come on, just because he hasn't fallen yet doesn't mean he won't in Jesus' name. There's always a giant between you and your destiny. Chances are if you ask God to go to another level, a giant's gonna show up. You gotta learn how to convert your fear into faith. You gotta learn how. Listen, heroes and cowards both deal with fear. The heroes just learn how to convert the fear into faith. Faith involves some fear and doing it anyway. And at some point, you gotta stand up to it. You wanna be strong? Spend time with God. You wanna convert your fear into faith? Spend time with God and he'll start helping you use fear as fuel for your faith to trust that God can do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that's at work on the inside of us. You see, you are not defined by the giants you face, but by the God that you follow. And when you remember who you are, you'll always have the courage to face your giants. You are not defined by your giants. You define your giants in Jesus' name. What's a giant in your life? Anything bigger than you. Your giant seems unconquerable and huge, bigger than you, because it is. By yourself, you don't have a chance. Your challenge is way bigger than you, but your challenge is not bigger than God. And the quietest whisper from God has more power than the loudest giant's roar. Come on, you are not defined by the giants you face, but by the God that you follow. Listen to me, some of you, you just need to hear this. You are not your anxiety. You are not your depression. You are not that rejection. You are not your insecurity. You are not your sickness. You are not your failure. You are not your shame. You know who you are? A beloved son or daughter. Fearfully and wonderfully made, made in the image and likeness of God. You are the head and not the tail. The spirit of God is inside of you. The kingdom of heaven is inside of you. You have the keys of the kingdom. All authority on heaven and earth has been given unto you through Jesus. You are a conqueror. You are victorious. You are an overcomer. And you've been empowered by Jesus to destroy the works of the devil. That's who you are. So you know what that means? You don't have to be afraid of your giant because your giant is terrified of you. The giants of darkness are just hoping that the people of God will never figure out who they really are because they know we're the only ones who can take them down. So they will strut and roar and intimidate and be relentless and ruthless to try to trick you into thinking you're somebody else or you're something else because they know you've been empowered by God to face them and walk in victory over them. You don't have to be afraid of them because they're terrified of you. This is why the Bible says that even at the name of Jesus, the demons shudder. If Jesus is in you, you got a whole lot more than the name. Come on, you become what you behold. You will always become what you behold. In other words, whatever you look at, you'll start to become like that thing. So what I'm trying to tell you is the more you look at your giant, the bigger it becomes and the smaller you become. The more you look at your God, the bigger he becomes and the bolder you become. So stop looking at God through your giant. Start looking at your giant through your God. 
When you know who you are, no giant can tell you who you're not. So here's my question for you. Have you forgotten who you are? Whatever giants in your life, have you forgotten who you are? Are you letting that giant's roar be louder than God's whisper? Have you forgotten? We are more than conquerors, more than victorious through what? Through Jesus and his love for us. How are you looking at the giants that are facing you right now? Because in God's word, Red Seas can part. Jericho walls can fall down. The sun can stand still. The Jordan River can part. Giants have to fall. Everything bows. Every circumstance you're facing, no matter how big it looks, no matter the bills you got to pay, no matter how lonely you feel, no matter how far away marriage may look or a healthy marriage or a healthy family, or whatever it is you're facing that's trying to tell you it's never going to change, you need to see your circumstances through the lens of God's word. That every circumstance, every giant, every mountain you're facing can crumble into the sea as you begin to move towards it with faith in God. You just keep moving forward. Don't you quit. Don't you give up. Don't feel like you got And you got to know who the real enemy is. The real enemy is not your spouse. It's not your kids. It's not your in-laws. It's not your boss. The real enemy is the prince of darkness. And he's trying to bring strife. He's trying to get you distracted, fighting battles that are unnecessary. Keep focused on the right fight. Somebody needs to shift their attention away from the problem and turn their attention toward the provider. Listen to me. He loves you. God loves you. He has not left you alone to face this on your own. He is with you. We're not facing it alone. And don't get discouraged if you get discouraged. Don't beat yourself up if you feel beaten up. If you feel like you're too afraid, too anxious, then just get down on your knees. Turn to your heavenly Father, asking for help. Remember all those times in the past that he has helped you. Go low before you go high. Go up unto the mountain of prayer. Make God's name your priority. Let your mind be full of his thoughts. Take up the stone of passion and move forward against this challenge. And then just be persistent. Remember his marvelous works which he has done. Keep a list of his world records. Has he not walked you through waters before? Has he not proven to be faithful? Have you not discovered his provision? I want to encourage you to write today's worries in sand and chisel yesterday's victories in stone. Realize that God is for you. And Paul, picking up on that in Romans chapter 8, said, For if God is for us, who can be against us? John said, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God is for you. And God has made available to you the resources of heaven. God is for you. And when God is for you, no giant can stand. No problem can continue. For there is nothing that is too big for God. Through the power of the Lord, Every giant in your life can fall. But you've got to trust in God and get your eyes on Him and off of your problems and situations and just commit yourself to the Lord. And He shall surely destroy the giants that are threatening you. When's the last time you ran toward your giant? When's the last time you ran toward your problem? When's the last time you said, you know what? Goliath of anxiety, you're not going to get me. Goliath of despair, you're not going to get me. Goliath of the worst case scenario, I'm not going to assume that. I'm going to trust in the armies of the living God. 
And consequently, you run in the direction with faith, with courage, because you have listened to the voice of God. If you'll get up, you'll find that it's not as bad as you thought it was. If you get up, you'll find out the devil is not as big and as powerful as you thought he was. If you get up, you'll find out that that spirit that has your child is not as tough as you thought it was because God has not called you to be in that trench of depression. He's called you to get up and giant killers are not only disciplined and giant killers are not only submitted, but giant killers get up. Aren't you tired of being down, looking up, seeing a big enemy? I'm going to tell you how you shrink the enemy. You start pulling yourself up by praising the Lord and focusing on God and declaring the Word of God and praying in the Holy Ghost. You're not some weak, down person. You're a giant slayer. Hallelujah. And pray in the Holy Ghost and He'll lift you up. And as you go up, the enemy goes down. I don't know how big the giants are in your life that you've been facing of late, but I do also know they're not too big for God. In fact, Lord, it's nothing to you. As the Bible says, just cast all your cares on Him, for He cares for you. Turn it over to the Lord. Let the Lord fight your battle. Experience the power of God working in your behalf. For if God is for you, who can be against you? Go in His name. Be strong. Be victorious.